Once upon a time, during the time of Buddha, there was a young man named Ananda. One day, Ananda approached the Buddha with a burning question in his heart. O enlightened one, he said, bowing respectfully, I have heard stories of the power of the subconscious mind. Is it true that our thoughts shape our reality? The Buddha smiled gently and motioned for Ananda to sit beside him. Indeed, young one, he replied, his voice calm and soothing. Our thoughts have the power to create our reality. The subconscious mind is like fertile soil and our thoughts are the seeds we plant within it. Intrigued, Ananda leaned forward, eager to learn more. But how does one harness this power? How can one use the subconscious mind to manifest their desires? The Buddha's eyes sparkled with wisdom as he began to share a story. Long ago, in a village not far from here, there lived a poor farmer named Kavi. Despite his hardships, Kavi possessed an unwavering faith in the power of his own mind. He believed that whatever he wished for would come to fruition. Ananda's curiosity deepened and he leaned in closer, captivated by the Buddha's words. One day, Kavi found himself in dire need of money to feed his family. He decided to embark on a journey to seek the help of a wealthy merchant in a nearby town. Along the way, Kavi encountered a beggar who asked him for alms. With compassion in his heart, Kavi gave the beggar his last few coins. Ananda listened intently, sensing that the story held deeper meaning. As Kavi continued his journey, he stumbled upon a precious gem lying on the path. Astonished, he picked it up and realized that the gem was worth a fortune. Overwhelmed with joy and gratitude, Kavi immediately returned to his village, his financial worries now a thing of the past. Ananda's eyes widened with amazement. How did this happen, revered Buddha? Was it mere coincidence, or was it the power of Kavi's subconscious mind at work? The Buddha smiled knowingly. It was neither coincidence nor magic, my dear Ananda. It was the power of Kavi's unwavering belief and his act of selflessness that activated the subconscious mind's ability to manifest his desires. By giving to the beggar, he released his attachment to scarcity and allowed abundance to flow into his life. Ananda sat in contemplative silence absorbing the profound lesson embedded within the story. The Buddha continued, The subconscious mind is like a vast ocean, capable of creating endless possibilities. But to harness its power, one must cultivate thoughts of positivity, compassion and gratitude. By aligning our conscious thoughts and actions with our subconscious desires, we create a harmonious resonance that attracts the very things we seek. Ananda nodded, his mind expanding with newfound understanding. So, it is through conscious intention, virtuous actions, and unwavering belief that we unlock the power of the subconscious mind? The Buddha nodded, his serene gaze fixed upon Ananda. Yes, my dear disciple. Our thoughts, words, and actions shape our reality. What we seek, we shall find. By cultivating mindfulness, compassion, and right understanding, we awaken the dormant powers within us and create a life filled with abundance, joy, and peace. The power of your subconscious mind lies within you. Cultivate positive thoughts, engage in virtuous actions, and embrace the path of mindfulness. In doing so, you will unlock the immense potential that resides within and manifest a reality aligned with your truest aspirations.